Hey everybody, Coach Dan here from the Run Experience. About a month ago, Garmin pushed out a software update that did a bunch of cool new things, but the hidden gem of that software update was heart rate variability. What a cool feature. I've been dying for this on my watch for ages. Now, Garmin's not the only company that provides this. Some others do, including Coros, and I'm telling you this thing is a gold mine of data. I'm gonna break it all down. What is heart rate variability? Why should you care about it? And what do you do with the information here at the Run Experience? Put really simply, heart rate variability is just the space in between your heartbeats, literally the time in between beats of your heart. And so the variability is whether or not that space is consistent or inconsistent. So is your heart beating really regularly at the exact same tempo, or are there tiny microsecond variations in between those heartbeats? Now, there are tiny microsecond little variations for all of us, but heart rate variability on your watch does a good job of actually assessing the relative difference in those variations. This is one of those weird metrics where a higher number is gonna be better. More variability is better. In general, that's true. And so when you look at your heart rate variability data on your watch or your, your uh, Garmin app or whatever app associated with your watch, you're gonna see some interesting numbers. Those numbers, the higher on that day, generally speaking, the better. Now, it's not quite that linear. I mean, it is and it isn't like everything else. Here's the thing, a single day of heart rate variability data doesn't actually tell you that much. You need a trend over time as a baseline. And so you need to be able to keep tracking this data week over week over week over week so that you know what a normal heart rate variability for you is. And then you get to see the outliers. Those outliers tell you something. What do they tell you and why do they change? Well, your heart rate variability changes based on stress. Now, for those of us who are runners who are trained regularly, that stress is often in the form of running or strength work, whatever it is that you're up to that day that you're, you're having the data collected. Or in some cases, the day before that you're having the data collected. In Garmin's case, and in most watches, they're actually tracking your heart rate variability at night when you sleep while wearing your watch. You need to be at rest in order for this data to, to mean anything, and so that's a good way to do it is for them to track it while you're sleeping. Now, let's say your heart rate variability is normally 50. Is that good or is it bad? Well, it's neither, it doesn't matter. Your heart rate variability versus my heart rate variability don't mean anything. The only thing that matters is my heart rate variability based on or in relation to my previous heart rate variability numbers. So, if we track my heart rate variability for three weeks and it turns out that I'm always around 50, between 46 and 56, say. So my average is heart rate variability of 50. Now, I wake up one morning, it's a big day. It's a long threshold run day. I check my heart rate variability, and it turns out instead of it being around 50 today, it's 32. Huh, what does it mean? Well, it means that my body hasn't adapted properly to the last stressors that I've put it under. So it means, I mean, it could be a bunch of things, right? That stress we think of in terms of running, but frankly, it could be running, it could be other life stressors, it could be a lack of sleep, it could be that you're fighting a bug of some sort. All of these things tell us that it may not be the best day to bang out a big threshold session. So that's what you do with this information. You use it as a baseline, and if your heart rate variability is especially low on a given day, how you use that data is by not busting out a big, tough run on that day. Now, I'll put some studies in the notes so that you can check out what this means. Heart rate variability isn't a new metric. In fact, it's been 50 years since sports scientists have been using heart rate variability as a way of assessing performance and response to stress. What's new about this is its availability for all of us. You don't need to go into a lab anymore to get heart rate variability data. Your fancy running watch can do it while you sleep. And this data can be really, really useful. The trick is, like everything that these fancy watches do for us, the trick is to use it. So I'm urging you, if your watch is one of those watches that suddenly you're getting this heart rate variability data in the morning, really think about it. Now, it doesn't mean that you need to not do your threshold run that week if you've got one day of low heart rate variability, but it can really be a great choice to take an easier day, still run, still train, do the things you need to do to be happy and well in the world, but push off that threshold or tempo session until a day later in the week when you're feeling a little better. Now, when I say you're feeling a little better, use the data to assess that, but also think about how you're actually feeling, right? And so heart rate variability doesn't need to be the be all and end all. You don't need to live and die by it. But 
Since this feature was pushed out, I've been using it more. I always tracked heart rate variability. I did it with a different app that I used on my phone, but I found the data really helpful for years and years. It's more helpful now that my watch is tracking it every single night because I get this cool running tally right there in an app on my phone that is related to everything else that I do. How I slept, how much I've been running, what my training load is. All of those things combined give me a really good idea about when I should train super hard and when I should train a little lighter. I love this feature. I love, love, love it. I love that my watch does it for me and I hope you get to use it too because it's a very cool bit of sports science. Speaking of heart rate training and all things heart rate and running, I'm gonna put a little link to a video right here from the run experience that'll tell you all about your heart rate zones, another key feature of training properly and getting the most out of your training time. Check it out, it's right there.